This is the story of the first butterfly by Lisa Logan. The butterfly dreaming reminds us all of the importance of the cycles of the seasons when living on country. As seasons move from one to another, ever eternal, so does life from death. In the dreaming, a long, long, long time ago, there was the first animal death and the birth of butterflies. When the world was young and still creating the country as we know it now, all the birds and animals had a common language to speak amongst themselves and they did not yet know death. No creature had yet gone through the mystery of death until one day a young cockatoo fell from a tree and broke his neck in the fall and he moved no more. The birds and animals gathered by the tree but none could wake the cockatoo so a meeting was held. The wise ancestor spirits came down from the sky. They declared they would take the cockatoo back with them and transform it into something new, another form. Everyone thought this was a good idea. The ancestor spirits said to prove their theory, they called for volunteers who would imitate the dead cockatoo by going up into the sky for the whole winter. During this time, they would not be allowed to see with their eyes, to hear with their ears, to smell with their nose or to taste with their mouth. In the spring, they would return to relate their experience to all the other animals. This made all the animals scared. But the caterpillars came forward offering themselves as volunteers. They went up into the sky in a huge cloud. On the first warm day of spring, a pair of excited dragonflies flew by. They told the birds and animals to gather as the caterpillars were returning with, with new bodies. Soon the dragonflies led towards where the birds and animals camped. A great pageant of pink, yellow, red, blue, green creatures were flying about in the air. The first butterflies and proof for all the animals and birds that the wise ancestor spirits had changed the caterpillars' bodies into a new form. They clustered in large groups together on the trees and in the bushes and everything looked so bright and colourful that the wise ancestor spirits decided this was a really happy thing to have happened. The ancestors said that it must be so from now until the rest of time. And ever since then, caterpillars always spend their winters hidden in cocoons preparing for the dramatic change into one of spring's most beautiful of symbols. The End